Hello YouTube, this is Angelic Warrior 31. Um, right now, um, I just feel like going and um, venting out just a little bit. Okay, there is some Twitter drama that I've been going on for about almost a month now between me and my ex coworkers from way back then, like over 10 years ago, on another job. Well, anyway, it started when one of the coworkers blocked me and then left this nasty message on my husband's page about me being a stalker, really, telling these lies. And she went on, she took it to Twitter. Okay, because I never had a problem with her, you know, you know, I had her as a friend or she had me or whatever. No, I added her. And, you know, she had a Twitter page, I added her on Twitter. But then all of a sudden, she just was like, oh, you know, that like stopping me, um, tell her to stop stalking me. I don't even know this chick like that. You know, and we used to work together, and she didn't stay around long enough to really for me to get to know But anyway, um, her, her little friend, her little friend used to be involved with some guy I used to be involved with years ago. Well, that, that's irrelevant right now. I don't know if she's still mad about it or whatever. And they just like been saying some back and forth things. You know, I had a block thing. Claiming I'm not calling her a stalker. I was like, well, first of all, she was out of order for posting that crap in my husband's wall. That was grounds for ass kicking in. So when I thought, went on Twitter because she blocked me, but, did, but it's funny how she didn't block her husband. She left that shit on her wall. She blocked me, so okay, I went on Twitter and was like, um, first of all, you know, don't leave that crap on my husband's page, like that on his wall like that. If you got a problem with me, you come to me, you know, you be a woman and come to me. You don't do nothing like that. If you had a problem with me, you should have inboxed me, be, be, be a woman about it, and tell me like it is. You shouldn't have came at him like that. She never said anything, but, you know, it's just been some, like, little back and forth, that kind of stuff about the faith, and, um, you know, call the crushes and all that other bull crap, which I'm far from it. You know, I'm like, the only thing that you could talk about is my weight, and I don't want to talk about nothing else but my because she don't really know me like that. She ain't even get to me, really. But, um, you know, I'm just done with this little Twitter, you know, Twitter drama. I just come in really the network. You know, I don't even be on Twitter like that. I just been on it recently, you know, to keep up with because I've been keeping tabs on what they've been saying because in the midst of that, there were some threats made me towards me. And I'm like, if I see any threats, I'm going, I'm going to the police. Simple as that. If I see my name mentioned, you know, when you're mentioned on Twitter, they automatically see your email. That's how I found out about it, that they was mentioning my name, and I'm this and I'm that. And I came out, I mentioned her name, and was like, um, you know, what I just told you guys. Like, you got to follow me, you need to come to me. No, this is childish. But she never came to me. She never asked me my questions. Okay, who I'm supposed to be stalking? How am I stalking you when you irrelevant to me? Really? You know, I only added her on Facebook because I'm like, oh, okay, I used to work with this lady. All right, I'll add her. You know, because I used to play Fongo a lot. You know, build a Fongo I don't play Fongo like that. So, maybe it's a little waste of time. Anyway, but. But then, you know, I was trying to build up um, my friends list, but, you know, it's irrelevant to me now, really. 
but like it's this this stuff is just like getting too far. I mean, I was things calling all kinds of bitches and stuff like that. And I and when I went in on her, I didn't call her bitch. I said, see, I didn't even have to call you a bitch. That's how really like I am. You know? But you know it, you just can't reason with it. So, you know, I try to extend my own you know, friendship to them, but you know, I say I forgive them. I forgive her for what she did, but don't let it happen again. Because I, I meant what I said, don't let it happen again. I always set her straight on that. But you know, just going back, reading my tweets, going back on her page, taking back without voting, you know, name calling and stuff like that. And you're supposed to have children. I mean, come on now, we all have to. You know what I'm saying? We, we gotta act better than this. If you act like that, imagine what her kids act like. Imagine how they are. I hope and pray that nothing like that. But, you know, this is just, um, you know, somebody get off my tape now. I'm all the way up north, she down south. And, you know, like I told her, I said, you're talking real tough behind the keyboard right now. But when you used to see me all the time, you ain't like me. Like, you know, say, well, I don't like you like that. I don't even know you. She know of my family, because they used to go to St. Church or whatever. She know of me. But she don't know me. You know what I mean? So, you know, she just, as far as I know, um, she can't really hold down a job. She, when we used to work together, she was there for a couple of months. I barely missed it, <laughs> you know, so, uh, this is just a couple of things, you know, I wanted to get off my chest, I mean, this, this drama is just, um, uh, out of control, you know, I had to stay away from Twitter for a while, over this little drama, crap, you know, um, itting and stuff, and name calling me, cause it, you look at it, it looks like they stalking me. The way things are, it will look like they stalking me. I'm like, who, who? Never answer my question. Who am I supposed to be stalking? Did I threaten you or anything like that? No. Never no answer, but she'll go back to her page and, and talk about this crap, this, that, this, that, and other. You know, and they read in my page. Yeah, we read in each other page. But I'm not talking about it. You know, I would say something or make like a statement and they'll soon talk about them and go carry that in the own page. And it's like, you know, just to start some drama. And then she was making like um, statements about my house. This has to never been in my house. Matter of fact, we never really even conversated we, But on Facebook, we conversated briefly on Facebook. That was like a year ago. That's it. We never really sat down and had no conversation and I was writing her over my house. How you know what my house look like? I'm missing. I'm supposed to be 400 pounds. 400 pounds. If I was 400 pounds, I wouldn't even be functional. I wouldn't even be, do, be able to do the things that I do. Like, I, like you see on my latest video, they have my co-workers say how many, how many weight I stand. A 400 pound person can do that. So, I mean, just making up weight. This is like high school bullshit. And it needs to stop. I mean, for real. It needs to stop. You know, they got kids or whatever like that. So it's they gotta be a, a, a better example for each other. I mean, what kind of substance do you have? You know, what I'm saying you have no substance doing things like that on social sites. You know, be productive. You have no productivity. You know, to sit there and sit there and defend. A woman you barely know. Tell my whole thing. That's all you can say about me because you don't know me. 
and then you know they see some of my videos and my pictures I've done and it's like I guess because they don't really have no skills to work with you know they feel a little insecure jealous of me I don't know but um when they can really basically learn how to do the same thing I'm doing. so can be disrespectful and anything like that it ain't cool it ain't cool at all and controlling my youtube page too and having nails um you really need to grow up you need to grow up be more productive you need to read more you need to keep up with current events some more maybe um go to school um do things that's um going to help you be more productive find a hobby instead of going on twitter reading my twitter page and then go back and make up fairy tales about me that you obviously don't know nothing that's all I'm